one of the essentials in playing the lap steel properly is, is being able to master the bar. And this is the bar. This is a Stevens Steel, made by the Stevens Corporation. I bullnose these. I don't know if you can see what I've done. I used it on a belt center or a grinder or whatever, and I polished the little round nose on here other than having both edges flat and sharp. Compared to this. Compared to this. That's a regular Stevens. See, that's a regular nose. Stevens. Mine has a bull nose on it. Here we have what are called steel bars that are used uh, primarily for use on resonator guitars, Dobros, and lap steel guitars. Uh, and the lap steel is different from a pedal steel guitar in that the lap steel has no pedals to change the pitch. If we're using a pedal steel, we would be using a bullet slide, which is a lot different. It looks like a big tube. These are predominantly used by people who use lap guitars. Now, the, the difference between this and, and the bullet is you'll see these have a finger groove. Okay? They're also made with a semicircular surface here that will ride across the strings as you're playing. Now, the difference between these, this is made, made predominantly for use on resonator and, and uh, lap guitars. However, you can see it has a sharp edge on both sides. Now, this is also a variation of it. And you can see it's uh, a little bit different, but it also has sharp edges. Now, this is a standard Stevens steel, which I bullnosed. Bullnosing, which means that I put some tape on it. I used a belt sander and a grinder. I put a little bit of a round edge on it, which, and I polished it on the buffer so that there weren't any scratches, because the scratches will catch on the strings. And it helps me to glide across the strings a lot better. Now, there are... Uh, copies of this being made today uh, by various slide bar manufacturers. They are making them with a little bit of a rounded edge, okay? And it helps you to glide across the strings a lot better because the, the round edge, okay, doesn't catch in the strings. The sharp edge, on the other hand, it catches. You have to use a lot more control using the sharp edge bar than you would with one with a bull nose. So it works great mm. as far as I'm concerned. These things are a bit heavy. They're probably over a pound, I would imagine. Right. But uh, once you learn how to manipulate this properly, and it's, if you're if you're a right-handed player, of course, you'll be actuating the bar with your left hand. You put this finger groove here on your index finger and cradle it. The other the other grooves on the middle finger and the thumb and this will ride across the string. Okay. Now mine allows me to move across the strings without binding with the bullnose. If you use the sharp edges, right, okay. you bind. Okay, so I do this on all the steels that I get. Now there are companies that make them with bullnoses already, but I, I prefer to take the Stevens and I do it myself. And I polish them down so there's no sanding marks, nice and smooth. Okay, and then uh, it allows me to, to, to navigate the, the neck a little bit better. Just turn that off. All right. So, 